Okay, everyone, thank you for coming back to the channel. And we're getting on this new story that the Jasmine brand had bought out, and many other outlets, and the neighborhood talk bought out, and many other out, um, outlets or social media as well. But I use uh, the Jasmine brand, some of her um, pictures, and I want to give her a shout out. So if y'all don't know who she is, Google her on YouTube, the Jasmine brand. Or you can just Google search her and you'll find all about her and all about her platform she used to discuss celebrity, celebrity entertainment and celebrity gossip news. Same as with the Neighborhood Talk. You can Google them, see what they're all about. And um, catch some of their uh, groundbreaking, groundbreaking stories on celebrity news as well. Okay, but I just love to give a uh, shout out to certain individuals and i definitely like to cite my resources and we can definitely cite out hustler and housewives he's a young youtuber as well going out there doing his darn thing and i've had i shouted him out a few times in my past videos but <laughs> he gets around child and he gets that scroll out and everything is allegedly over there but he just a tickle my fancy every time he brings a, a news reporting or breaking news story uh out for people that want to be entertained he gets the unraveling that paper i like to call it the scroll and he go out and starts his commentary that way so if you don't know who he is just google him or go to uh real housewives not real housewives of Atlanta, but do a youtube search for hustler and housewives and it's a um black young gentleman um there he has his bald head and his avatar face uh but his his avatar is actually his real face so go over there and tell him tell him dale chanel sporty swirl sent him sent you all over there for more commentary and more laughs okay but anyway we're gonna get into this story that uh is hot out there on the news scene talking about Porsche's losing all her family members uh, support and they're lining up with Dennis McKinley her baby daddy just in case they might have to go to court okay and they're gonna be representing Dennis for the positive and not Portia so that tells a lot and that beautiful young lady is Tariqa Ford which is on the right hand side in the green Portia's cousin mother who Dennis and uh, his mom Gina supported her through her grieving process and still probably are supporting her uh, with anything she possibly may need uh, because Portia and Miss Diane they ain't fooling with her they ain't came to her uh, for any condolences or some type of sympathy or empathy about her mom dying and this that, and the third and Portia had the perfect lineup of, of a blended family right there she didn't have to go out and search for another million billionaire and then think it was going to be some consequences. Just because Mama Jenny was trying to solidify her role in keeping her finances. Because they are connected with her son and their businesses. She wanted Portia to sign a prenup. Portia refused to. But hey, that's like they say, time's up. The, the wheels are turning. And Dennis is doing what he has to do to make sure his daughter is secure. And we all know Lauren loves herself some Dennis McKinley in a uh, family type sense. Uh, he looks at her as her his sister. She looks at him as her brother. Now, Portia needs to apologize to his mother for all the infractions that she caused. And definitely, Lauren can help her with that transition. And Miss Diane needs to settle down, okay? Because she even says she likes Dennis. So how can you be liking both people at the same damn time? She's double-minded. We do know after seeing the last episode of Porsche Family Matters that she did have a split decision decision to make on Simon and Dennis. She would choose Dennis all day long, okay? And I'm pretty sure um, that's Mama Lisa over there, which is Lauren's mom. I'm pretty sure they love Dennis as well. And... Mama Liz, I mean Auntie Liz, no she don't got her full fill of Simon. So she don't care. She's team Dennis all the way all day long. Okay? And then she get them free hot dogs as well. For any function she may cater in the future. But all of those women, besides Dom, they gonna support Dennis as well. Even Portia. Dennis may not be likable when it comes to being faithful. But he gets the Father Day Award every day of the year. Okay, 
every day of the month, every day of the year, every second of us breathing, he gets the best father award. Lundy loves him. Lauren loves him. Portia loves him. She just don't want to admit it. He just didn't do what she wanted him to do. Okay, which was to not sign a prenup, to marry her on all her terms and agreements, and it is what it is. And Mama Diane just let her get on along with that instead of setting her daughter down and saying, look, this is a good man. He may not be a billionaire, but he is a millionaire. Okay, you're not uh, showing yourself as a high-class woman such as Fallon. Okay, even though Fallon has some, you know, tweaks and turrets on her, some dirt on her. But, you know, she left with some stuff. You didn't. Okay, and then, I don't know if Andy was so-called feeling the relationship between you and Simon, but that was even ruined. Because he was not even a memorable sight on your show, Portia Family Matters, that should have been titled Portia Family uh, Portia Matters. <laughs> okay, sitcom. Because that's all it really showed us about what she wanted, and it was all about her, 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 her. Now, she wanted Dennis Fowler to come back and rescue her, to a forever continue to be sorry for cheating on her and diane probably was a part of that scheme as well but when it went left she said well take your better option is simon still available and of course doing like mother told her to do allegedly she went on and saw somebody else which she probably knowing me uh because her and dennis well no mama diane probably told her what love got to do with it, baby security bag security bag so she thought she was security bag not thinking that this is the same type of man that she married before, which was Cordell Stewart. Okay, this ain't no Protina, because Protina just, to me, lost her mind as well. You don't have to d renounce your own country, the, American, the United States, to go move over there to Switzerland and think you can live happily ever after. I mean, I'm right, when birth, that's too much. That's too much. I want a citizenship in both places but she renounced the citizenships to um the united states and i'm like i'm birth i'll be down if i renounce anything i'll be down if i let a man run me to another whole country i'll be damn period all right but i'm sure tina turner goes in to tell about her whole little story and all the comings and goings and ike and all this but this is what i was telling y'all about about this nation y'all see uh sherry shepherd up in there okay that's a lost job for Portia because I don't think Sherry Shepard going to give up those coins, those dollars, those screens backs to let Portia come back one day unless she had a better opportunity and she left on her own. But, you know, this is what Simon has to think about. Does he want to be bothered with her family? Does he, is he really going to be a good stepdad to PJ when he's not really showing and faring well in public opinion about his own children? That's what we're concerned about. Will this man be a good stepfather? You know, why don't we see any pictures of them together? Why don't we see any pictures of him taking her to school? You know, being around her. Why we don't see any warmth? But, hey, whenever time she's around her mom and daddy, and especially her mama, girl, she just be uh, breaming, uh, beaming from ear to ear with sunshine when she see her daddy. Okay, now, yeah, Portia, you dropped the bag on that one as well. All right? And like I said... Then it's just all right in the public opinion. I, other than the cheating part, everybody loved Dennis. Well, let's not generalize. Majority of us love him. Okay, some of us love him, but you got the same thing with Cordell Stewart that you're trying to build with um, Simon Gabadia. You said he gave you wealth, he gave you fame, he gave you a nice house. It's you eventually claiming your book was a iron fortress, cold and just no warmth in it. So you want the same thing with uh, Simon? Because that's pretty much what it is. You said Cordell was controlling. Simon's controlling. You said Cordell wanted everything his way and alienated you from your family. Is that not what Simon is doing right now to you, baby girl? Then it didn't have all those uh, restrictions and um, convictions of what you needed to do in order for you to stay with him. He didn't have none of that on you. He didn't tell you you couldn't have your family over. You couldn't be around your family. But Simon is going to be that Cordell piece of an individual that you once left and was trying to get away from by taking a bottle of pills that you said in your uh, autobiography that you took just to get out of the house. Because Cordell had you on lockdown. He was locking every door, every window so you couldn't get out. So you took a whole bottle of pills just about just to get, you know, get out. They had called an ambulance, had to pump your stomach, all that kind of stuff. 
And then you said, well, <laughs> unless you change, uh, I'm going to leave you. <laughs> like, girl. So, yeah. Tarika Ford. Tarika Ford. That's the one that says she knows Portia was fooling around with Simon Gabbardia prior to him getting out his marriage. So, things just continuously keep coming up on these public social media platforms. It's not going to look good for you if you try to fight Dennis on the custody battle he's going to be putting you through this year. Girl, go on and get him sole custody until you can get your life together. Ain't no sister dragging PJ around from house to house and this to third. You come visit her. I think that'll be better. You know what I'm saying? You come tuck her in at night so you won't have to travel from house to house to house. Or just date Simon. Continue to date him for the next couple of years and just see what transpires. You don't have to be married. You don't have to have Bravo give you a spinoff portion just to get more money. Girl, go compete on Celebrity Big Brother. Get you another manager. They're not feeding you with a lot of more positive jobs to uh, supplement your income. Girl, maybe you just need to... I, I, I'm, I'm not going to tell you what to do because you ain't listening. But we're just presenting facts to you. You're not looking good optical-wise in these social media streets. Your family, fact, that was a fact I just said, but your family is another fact to deal with that they're not liking you. They're not supporting you. They're not even talking to you at this, at this time, allegedly, is what I'm hearing on these social media streets. And it was piss poor that you would do your cousins like that. That's Tiffany, and the other one is Tyreka. Why would you not share the love of their deceased mom why did you not come to them and ask what can i do for you during your grieving time what can me and my mom do for you all but no tariq before said so you never came to them you, you never showed any love or any type of empathy or sympathy of their mother passing only dennis and his mom came to show some type of emotional support i don't know if he gave him financial support or not not really here nor there but you were looking like pure bu bullshit in your family's eyes portion and yes you should be crying you should be feeling very low 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 okay of your actions or uh, non-actions i should say you took a part of by not showing any condolences or anything now all this is allegedly and i'm only going by tarika ford and what she's saying about you and what you and your mom didn't do but dennis and his mom did do for them and Quiet as it's kept loud, so I'm going to speak it out. Miss Lauren, your assistant, your new assistant, I'm sure she's going to be replaced, you know, when we see something else with you on the TV. Uh, because she was a part of that stealing of the robe, letting your uh, cousin and your sister in to take the robe at your house. Yeah, we remember that, too. She was all in cahoots, and you probably ain't going to forgive her. You're going to probably fire her. So, and I'm pretty sure she'll be on Dennis's side as well. So, you need to restore the balance. You need to eat the... The, the destruction and, and swallow it down like a bitter piece. It just is what it is. Go make up with Mama Gina. Apologize and don't and do no infractions to her in the future because, again, that is your daughter's grandmother. Okay? And after Simon said what he said on that last episode of your show, uh, she ain't going to probably be fooling with you either if you still with him. Okay, and let alone her husband might tell you a little bit or two cents about being with that man as well. So, nobody's feeling Simon, okay? You may be feeling him, but this is the wrong time, the wrong season, and the wrong era. Maybe in another lifetime, be or before you had PJ, y'all could have worked it out and did well with one another. But when you do have a child, and it doesn't seem like that child is very friendly or happy when she's around Simon that tells a lot okay the energy is off because kids love you know adults especially if they you know since they're nice or whatnot and you can tell look at that, that face brimming she loves her daddy loves him girl and that's a rare commodity in the black community where you do have black men that stay around and want to be around to see their son or daughter grow up in a happy environment. Even when they're not with the baby's mama. You know what I'm saying? 
very rare commodity. I'm very surprised that Diane supports her daughter allegedly or how she's just tearing up every relationship she gets. And I damn mean every last relationship that we followed with her being on The Real Housewives of Atlanta and on her new show, Portia Family Matters. When it should be definitely re-named uh, Portia Matters. That's all it is. Cause that's all it really is about her. If she can't get her way, she can't get what she wants. She threw it to. She done moved on to the next uh, victim. But that's all I had to say about this uh, video. Do you really think that Portia family has turned on her? Or is it just another alleged story out there um, that's being put out there for us to talk about and for us to keep her name in our mouths, okay? And generating more <laughs> press and advertisement for her. Because, you know, if you never knew uh, who Portia Williams was or who her mother was, when you get the education from looking at a ton of videos from... Um, every walks of life youtuber out there that's doing stories on them you can also google them and uh, get your information from them that way too and take it with a grain of salt because all stuff that's put out there on google about a person their wealth their network um i'm saying that net worth uh and other stuff of that nature it, it can be somewhat false you got to kind of know the person and been following the person and just watching them tell the story over and over to actually believe what's put out there on social media on them. When it's talking about their bio biography, their their uh, date of birth. Because a lot of people lie about their date of birth. You know what I'm saying? Especially in Hollywood when they're trying to get different jobs. Because at a certain time of your life or a certain age, they don't want to deal with you no more. They feel like you're a has-been and they don't want nobody old. They need somebody fresh, new, and come with another concept than what they've been you know dishing out there for us to take part in but yeah that's the picture i was talking about about sherry shepherd Ooh, child she's on dish nation now she ain't giving up that job that's a, a cushiony liquidative uh of asset job good stream of income so if they don't want you no more it's a reason why a lot of people well some people i've talked to about this issue a lot of them feel she got fired don't know why don't really care but it just is with the deal but yeah we all need to say a prayer for me pj that portia do right by her and stop changing up and uh not having a stability of foundation for her her dad is trying to make it be that way but the mom portia she only worried about that man and his billions and i'm probably if he died today he would have nothing in his will for her okay that's how shallow and uh sad he is as an individual because technically i was just told mm -mm, we ain't, uh -mm. now we're gonna be girlfriend and boyfriend for a while because i tend to see that you pay too much attention to your ex so that means there are definitely some unresolved issues of uh cutting ties right there because um uh, this is how you handled yourself on your show and how it played out in public opinion you know I really do believe you still care about this man and you need to find those issues so i'm gonna let you go um you're gonna live your life and i'm gonna live my life and you figure it all out and then if we come back and i feel you've grown you've definitely uh taken care of some of your emotional baggage then maybe we can see what we can do but you know peace out do this deuces that's what i would have told miss portia but you know hey it might be setting the door open for dennis to change his wayward dick ways and try to settle down with portia you know because he has built a family thus far but like i said a man can't change he gotta want to change himself mm -hmm. and look at those checkerboards down there for my conspiracy theories you know was that something she put in there or was it already there that's what we have to think about. Okay. We'll, well, we'll continue to see how Portia climbs or she decreases. They can tell the real story behind those checkerboards in her house on those floors. Okay. That's all I got, guys. Y'all enjoy the video. And definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Become part of the family. All right. And definitely share my videos and like my videos. Okay. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.